You can hold your heads high, fellow Christians, for Halloween is not a pagan holiday, nor is it the worship of the devil, if observed correctly. But you don't have to take my word for it. I have an expert on hand tonight to help answer some questions you may have about the origins of Halloween. So join me now to do just that as author, podcast host, and Catholic Answers senior apologist, Jimmy Aiken. Thanks for being here tonight, Jimmy. So I'm sure every year you get flooded with these types of accusations that Halloween was a pagan holiday that was stolen or at least co-opted by Christians over the centuries. So I want to ask you, is there any truth whatsoever to some of those accusations? There's really not. Um, and the, the key to understanding that is in the name Halloween itself. A lot of people will know that it's short for Hallow All Hallows' Eve. That's where we get Halloween. It's just a shortening of All Hallows' Eve. But the problem is today people don't really understand the word hallow. Hallow is just another form of the English word holy. That's why in the Lord's Prayer we say, hallowed be thy name. May people, in other words, we're asking, may people treat God's name as if it's holy. Well, it, when we talk about a hallow, we're talking about a holy person, a saint. And so that's really what Halloween is. It's the evening before All Saints Day or All Hallows Day. So this is a Christian custom that comes from honoring the memories of the saints and the martyrs of the Christian faith. It isn't a pagan thing. And actually, um, the reason that it's celebrated on October 31st is because, you know, that's the evening before November 1st. And on November 1st, in the 730s, uh, Pope Gregory III dedicated a chapel in St. Peter's Basilica to the memory of the apostles and the Christian martyrs and all of the Christian saints. And so it's really honoring the memory of all of the great Christian heroes of faith and that's where it comes from, and that's why it's October 31st. And when it comes to some of these traditions, such as trick-or-treating or, or carving jack-o'-lanterns and pumpkins, do we know where some of those traditions come from? Because what I've heard from some priests, for example, will say that those were the various Halloween traditions that were celebrated in places like Ireland or England or France that were then brought over to America, where they all kind of mixed together. What have you heard? Well, it's true. Uh, different Halloween customs arose in different parts of Western Europe, particularly in the British Isles. And the way they got over to America was because of the different waves of Irish and Scottish immigration. Uh, a lot of these customs that we have today, like jack-o'-lanterns and trick-or-treating, they're originally based on Scottish and Irish customs that were then brought over to America. And then because America is so influential in world culture, they've been spread to other countries as well. And so when you, for example, when I go to Spirit Halloween or some of these stores, I get costumes for my siblings and everything else. There are sections of Ouija boards and you'll see witches spells and everything else. Do we know when or how some of those more demonic elements are being introduced into the Halloween celebrations? Do we have any idea what happened there? Well, because Halloween is a way of honoring uh, the memory of people who have died, you know, our uh, our Christian heroes like saints and martyrs and so forth, it has had an association with death. And in popular culture, this is different than church teaching, but in popular culture, whenever you have death come up, you know, death is a scary topic. And sometimes people want to kind of make fun of death as a way of making it less scary. And so as a result, you would have people dress up as ghosts and things like that uh, as kind of a way, or as monsters, as kind of a way of making these concepts less scary. And the really demonic stuff, the really, really problematic stuff like Ouija boards and stuff like that, that's all very recent. That arose in the 19th and 20th centuries and certainly does not go back to pagan times. They didn't even have Ouija boards back in pagan times. Those came up in the 19th century. You have a favorite Halloween custom, perhaps. I, I know, for example, when it comes to trick-or-treating, they say that back in the day, kids used to be given treats for, so they could go pray for the souls of the dearly departed. Do you have a favorite custom yourself? Actually, uh, the historical origin of trick-or-treating is really fascinating because it was originally called souling. And the idea was you would get perhaps dressed up and you would go souling. People would go around to sometimes beggars, uh, but other people would go to someone's house and they would sing a song 
kind of like Christmas caroling, outside the person's house, and they would offer to pray for their departed loved ones, and then they would be given things like apples or what were called soul cakes, which were essentially uh, kind of like at Easter we have hot cross buns. Well, for Halloween or All Saints Day, they had these soul cakes, which we would consider like a bun or a muffin, and they were a treat that were given to people to thank them for praying for their departed loved ones. One of my favorite uh, custom origins is the jack-o'-lantern. Because today we think about jack-o'-lanterns as uh, pumpkins that have been carved to look like a face and they have a light in them. That's why they're called jacks. You know, jack is another term for a man. And lantern is a light source that you carry with you. And so jack-o'-lantern is the man of the lantern or the lantern-like man. And people would carry them as they went souling to provide light as they walked along because they didn't have flashlights back then. But originally, it wasn't pumpkins that they were carved out of. Originally, it was frequently turnips or rutabagas, also known as an Irish turnip. And so they were a little bit smaller and they were a little bit more rustic. Um, but that's where we actually get jack-o'-lanterns from. They were originally turnips or rutabagas. I love it, Jimmy. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. My pleasure, and happy Halloween to you and your viewers. And you as well.